everybody, it's Michelle with Sweet Pea Farm. I just wanted to um, pop in for a quick second. We um, did quite a bit on the farm this past weekend and so I've got some video of that to show you guys and also I just wanted to touch base and tell you guys that in the month of November uh, we're going to be doing a giveaway each week because there are four members of the family who have birthdays coming up in November so it's um, one of my favorite months and very busy and exciting and um, once November hits we're pretty busy with craft fairs and then we're going into the new State Street Market that's opening up December 1st so we're gonna be really busy with all that so I just want to take some time and tell you now that the giveaways will be going on um, each week you can learn about the giveaways through different avenues um, whether it's Facebook Instagram or here on the YouTube channel so there's gonna be some that are exclusive to one social media some will be um, all across the board so we're still kind of deciding on the details for all of the giveaways that we're going to be doing but they're going to be fun um i think each one may be geared towards one of the people that has the birthday um i don't know i haven't, I haven't figured out all the details yet but i just wanted to touch base with you guys because i don't want to not give enough lead time for everybody to hear about these um since november starts this week so uh, make sure that you're following us on Instagram, Sweet Pea Farm NY, and Facebook. We're also we're Sweet Pea Farm NY on everything. So if you're ever looking for us, our website is SweetPeaFarmNY.com. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Etsy, YouTube, obviously as Sweet Pea Farm NY. Um, so make sure that you check those things out, and um, also make sure you stay tuned for upcoming videos. Chloe and I are working on some uh, tutorial. Chloe. Chloe Corner tutorial craft ornaments and um, a whole bunch of other stuff so I hope you guys had an awesome weekend I hope you enjoy um, the few clips of us getting some work done this this weekend together as a crew and that's it make sure you follow us on all those venues so you can take part in our awesome birthday month giveaways put that straw down sister good job go get some more are you doing like Big Sissy does? Wait, that one's not open yet. I gotta cut it open. Come on, all my straw spreaders. Oh boy. I gotta open that one first. Good job, girls. Looking good. We redid the lamp pens today. That's for the mommies and babies eventually. The big pen for all the youths. Ram pen down at the end with just Angus in it now. Break will go in soon. And then there's one, two, three, four, five, six lemon pens. So all done before it's freezing time. And I don't have to break my fingers off doing it. Who are you going to feed now? Kitty. kitty? There's no kitty food in the barn. We got to go get the kitty food. Did you feed the turkeys and the goose? Are they eating? Not that they need to eat much. Goose, the goose eating. It is a rainy, rainy Monday. Not either. Did you eat chocolate on your way into the barn? Yeah. Yeah. What's the turkey say? What's the turkey say? Turkey. Should we go feed the goats? Yeah. Yeah, let's go feed the goats. How you doing this morning, yeah. girls? Yeah. You don't love that pumpkin, huh? Not like the sheep do? Are you ready for your breakfast? Should we give them breakfast, Eva Rose? Oh, you love Josie, don't you? You're a good goat girl. Yeah, you still have chocolate on your face. They're like, oh, chocolate? Do you think goats like chocolate? I don't think it's probably good. For, I don't think it's a good thing for them. All right, let's get in their grain. Ready? You gonna help me? So the goats are in their own barn for a couple reasons. One reason is that um, anytime we get new animals, we quarantine them. 
in case they have something, which I doubt they do, but it's a good practice to keep. Um, the other reason is that I really like the way I have the sheep barn set up for the sheep and for lambing. I got that all set up yesterday and I didn't want to mess that up by trying to put a goat pen in. So this is the little barn that's right across from the house and it works for now. It'll be easier when we're milking or whatever. Um, goats! Another thing that's important when you're keeping sheep and goats is that you're careful about, um, even if you keep them in the same barn, you have to be careful to keep their minerals and their feed separate because the goats need a higher level of copper in their diet. And if the sheep get the same level of copper on a regular basis, or even if they get into the goat feed and eat a bunch of it all at once, it can cause a thing called copper toxicity, which essentially could kill a sheep um, if it's bad enough. So you wanna be careful to keep the food and the minerals separate. The, if, the sh if the goats get into the sheep stuff, it's not gonna hurt them. It's just not going to give them the amount of copper that they need um, in their diet, but it's not gonna kill them. But if the sheep get into the goat food, it could kill them and nobody wants that. So, so they're over here in their own pen, in their own barn really right now. And they're seemingly doing well and happy and hopefully pregnant. And I don't think they like the pumpkins as much as the sheep do. The sheep devour those things and these guys like ate the seeds and left the rest. So we'll probably just give the rest to the sheep. So thanks for watching you guys. I hope you enjoyed that. The chickens are growing so fast. Um, the four mosaic chicks that we had from Gold Feather Farm, they're getting all feathered out. It looks like we may have three hens in a row. I'll get some more video of them soon. Uh, the goats are settling in well and seem happy. We've had tons of rain, so they've been stuck mostly in the barn, except for a little bit yesterday. Um, and I have one sheep that's getting an udder. She was bred for fall babies. Last year she lambed December 1st. Um, so I'm hoping she lands out in November this year. And um, then I have some other ewes that could lamb out in December. So we'll keep you posted on that. And um, you saw the lambing pens. We have cameras attached to the barn above the lambing pen. So, um, so we can watch and we can share some some views of that um, once my tech guy comes in this week to help me get that fixed so thanks for watching i hope you have a great rest of your day don't forget to subscribe to the channel and take advantage of those uh, november giveaways we're about to do have a great day